Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to write platform dependent code for your React Native apps. So first off from React Native, you're going to want to import platform. So it's going to let you check what operating system you're on. And from there, you can actually do some logic depending on the platform. So where I've found this useful in the past has been like providing um, ad IDs for AdMob. So it's one particularly useful use case. So you can see it's checking on my Android emulator the platform and just displaying that as text. And if I wanted to, I could create um, a variable that's checking, uh, that says whether it's Android or not. And I can just do that by using that JavaScript equality operator with Android. There are a few other things that you can check, like whether something is for the TV and like different versions and stuff like that. But for mo most of my stuff, I mostly just use whether it's Android or iOS. You can also check whether it's iPad, I think, and also um, web would be if it's not um, Android or iOS typically. So if it's Android, I might want to perform some specific thing. So I'm just gonna console log specific Android task. Cool, so now I've got that. If I go ahead and look at the terminal and save, you can see it's output specific Android task in the terminal, and that's because when I saved it, reloaded, and that was output. There's also quite a useful thing that you can do using the spread operator in JavaScript, which is the dot, dot, dot operator. So what you can do is you can actually get a specific um, JavaScript object. So you can use that to sort of um, add additional styles depending on the platform because obviously um, different platforms might have different style guidelines so you might want to style them a bit differently. So for Android I'm going to specify a specific background color and for iOS I'll also specify another one. So for Android I think I'll just go with green. You can specify as many properties as you want here. It can also be used for things other than styling. So if you wanted different configs based on different operating systems, then you could use that. And yeah, based on the operating system, it'll return either the Android, the iOS, or you can also specify default and like Mac OS and stuff like that. So it's quite useful. So for iOS, I'm just going to specify that I want it to be blue. Now go ahead and save that. So when I save that, it reloads for Android and you can see it's green. As I've specified, I want a green background for Android. For iOS, it should be blue. I'm just going to remove that font size and apply margin instead because it'll be a bit more useful to see what I'm talking about. So for Android, I'll just add a margin of size 20. And for iOS, yeah, so if I save that, you can sort of see there's that margin around the page. It's not green all the way to the edges. And for iOS, I'm just going to specify a margin of zero. So you can see that's definitely picking up all those Android values, not picking up the iOS ones. But if we go ahead and open our iOS simulator, we'll be able to see that it applies the iOS styling. So we should see blue and it goes all the way to the edges. So you can see it goes all the way to the edges and that's because we've specified this margin as zero. We could change that and it will just update. If you um, want, you can specify a default, which will be used whenever there's either not a specific platform styling provided or config provided. Um, so for example, I might want background color to be red in some cases. You can see it's not picked up at the moment because iOS is still there, but if I delete that and save, you can see it goes to red. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video today, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.